Hello everyone, Allie here, and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode at Allie's Treasure Trove. Today we do have a new Giants figure unboxing and review, and I will admit, he is a lot larger than I anticipated. This is the Mega House, Dark Side of Dimensions, Seto Kaiba with Blue Eyes statue, of course from that movie, Dark Side of Dimensions. This is part of apparently the Versus series, which is, uh, I'm not too sure what else is in the line. I took a look on AmiAmi's website, which is where I got this guy right here. I'll go ahead and put the link to this item in the description down below if you guys would like to take a look at it. If you have a feeling to go ahead and get it yourself, that's where I got mine. I would recommend it. Always everything arrives in great condition. But yes, uh, I'm trying to look to see if I could find anything else in the Versus series for Yu-Gi-Oh! and I could not. So not sure if there's anything else like in the works, if there'll be like a Yu-Gi or anything coming out. But I saw this, I saw Kaiba, I saw Blue Eyes, I fell in love and I had to have it. So this here is a lot larger than I anticipated, but the shipping box was so much larger. Go ahead and put a picture of that on screen. I was quite nervous when the package arrived. I was like, oh no, what have I done? But yes, he is still quite big here, as you guys can see. He is not small by any means. So I'm curious as to what it's going to look like out of the box. So very excited for new Kaiba. Not quite sure where I'm going to put him, but that is a problem for future Alley. Current Alley is just excited to go ahead and crack him on open. So I'm not going to snap into the corner or anything like that, hit the button to swap views, anything like that in this video, because he's literally not going to fit. So we're going to open him on up here. Thank you to our trash can here for being wonderful support. But yeah, so let's go ahead and crack open this outer box. I wonder if there's going to be another internal box or what? This seems like this would normally be a shipper box. But of course it came in that giant box you all saw a picture of on screen. Alrighty, Kaiba, let's see if you are going to have another box inside. Alright, so there is another box. There's another box. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be like little nesting dolls, isn't it? All right, so this looks like the normal Mega House shipper box. I wonder if like one unit was like one case and that's why they shipped it like this. All right, let's extract you here. I think I legitimately need to just stand up and dump him on the chair. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so awkward. Do, 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 do. Run away, cardboard. Alrighty. So this here is our new box. This is our new box. It's still humongous. Look at it. That's insane. All right, let's open this one on up as well. All right. Now we have visuals of the regular box. So now we have visuals of the regular box. All right, this also will be dumped into the chair. All right. Here we go. <laughs> ah, he's so large, but Kaiba here with blue eyes. Like I said, part of the Versus series. 
Nothing else on my radar for the Versus series, but do have very awesome looking Kaiba here with not one, but two blue eyes. Although you look more with the, uh, the markings, you look more like a blue eyes alternative. But yeah, so let's take a look at the different sides of the box here. Little different angles of Kaiba. Very cool silhouette there. All right. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. That's the uh, card there for alternatives. So it looks like a regular blue eyes and a blue eyes alternative. Very excited to check him on out in person. Check out if his face sculpt looks as nice as it does on the box. And of course, give you guys my final thoughts on this giant, giant Kaiba. This is only my second Kaiba statue. I do have one of the Kotobukiya 1 7 scales. But well, happy to see Kaiba. All right, looks like we do have a decent amount of instructions for assembly. All righty. Yeah, looks like there's a good amount of pieces we're going to have to put together. All righty. Once again, let me just stand up. Alrighty. There's the little cards. You can see the little cards in there. All right, first impression. Kaiba looks really good. Kaiba looks really good. And I am excited to take everything on out of the box. I will say I am relieved, although the packaging itself is humongous. This is honestly the size I thought he would be to begin with. So I'm happy when he arrived, I was like, what have I done? What have I done? I didn't realize he'd be humongous. But no, he looks more appropriately sized. Let me see. All right. Once again, there's one of those little twist ties. Where do I undo you from, though? Where do I even undo that twist tie? Perhaps let me flip this on over. Looks like more tape that I can cut here. and some tails and an arm a dragon arm one assorted dragon arm in here i remember i had to cut the the twist tie on the okiora and i didn't like having to cut it when we unboxed him a few weeks ago all right so let me Successfully unattached. So remove the backing plastic. And now we have some things we can take out of the actual packaging here. So we do have the base with some really cool looking crystals. Ooh, I like the Kaiba Corp decoration on the base. So that looks really neat. Really like the way that looks. Base is cool. Base is cool. Crystals are neat. Right. So we have our regular blue eyes. Ha! Huh. That 
That looks sick. Look at that. Wow. That is such a cool looking blue eyes. I feel like I can never have too many blue eyes statues. I mean, I, I'm sure at some point, like, it's too much, but I haven't reached that point yet, in my opinion. Oh, but that looks really cool. Ooh. All right, this is alternative. Uh, I thought alternative was white. You are also blue. All right, but yeah, that is the face, I believe, of Blue Eyes Alternative. Looks really cool. I will say I love the metallic sheen. Oh, it looks so amazing. Looks so amazing. All right, let's see Kaiba himself. Oh, he doesn't weigh very much at all. Oh, I love how he has the gloss on his cape. Oh, this looks so good. He looks so good. Oh, you know what? I need to actually... Uh, let's do this. So you guys could take a look so you can see him up close and personal. Do, do, do. Oh, he looks so good. He's also ripped. Anyways, uh, excuse me. Or don't. Oh, he looks so good. He looks so good. Like I said, he really is really lightweight. I will say everything I'm picking up is a lot a lot lighter than I anticipated, which is good because if this thing was as heavy as the obelisk, you know, eventually the shelf is going to not be able to support things if it everything just weighs an infinite amount of pounds. Alrighty, so I want to... It's times like these that I wish I had a little bit more space. I'm going to put our boys back here. While I put this, these assorted plastics back together. Oh, I didn't take out the cards. I did not take out the cards. Let me do that. They're just taped in here. All right. I've removed the cards. I think, uh, I think we can close this for now. I think we'll swap back over to this view. Uh, let me just clean up a little bit. Definitely need to manage your working space. If you do have one of these, uh, plan accordingly where you're going to be putting it together. So like I said, there's a lot of parts. But I will say, the instruction guide looked stressful to begin with, but seeing the pieces in person, a lot of it's just, uh, I don't know that every step here is super necessary, but I appreciate the extra fine detail. Just in case you're a little confused as to what goes where, does give all the different parts as well. Though I like how it gives the multiple viewpoints for where you are putting in different pieces. So let's go ahead and extract from here. I'll have to remember to get that. I dropped the zip tie, or twist tie, rather. All right, so I have to untwist these pieces apart as well. I appreciate the extra security. I understand why they do it. Just wish that uh, I was able to assemble this a little bit more quickly.
Alrighty, I believe I popped everything. Oop, one more. Alright, all of the loud noise was taken care of while we were in muted. Couple of metal rods for display. We have an arm. We got some wings. We got some tails. All right. I believe now we can work on all of our assembly. Oh, this is going to look amazing. Alrighty, alrighty. So I think we probably should come back here while we assemble. All right. So step one, put Kaiba, put Kaiba on the base. So let's do that. So his feet do have the holes for the pegs. All right, very easy to do that. Oh, he looks so good. Very great sculpt here on Kaiba. Slightly more adult than he was during the original series. Uh, looks, uh, I don't know if he's in his 20s yet. I know original series Kaiba 16, if you can believe it or not. Uh, so a little bit more adult Kaiba, looking great, looking great. Then we need to attach pieces three and four together. Three is regular blue eyes. And four, where is four? Four is this tail. Where is it? Does that have the crystal piece? No, this one is two. And then four has like that little crystal piece. It has been a while since I've seen Dark Side of Dimensions. I actually enjoyed it up to the point where Kaiba uh, yeeted himself into history and abandoned Mokuba. Um, you know, it's not, that was not very cool of you, Kaiba. It was not very, very cool, but it is, does seem very in character. Alrighty, so we're putting three and four together and then putting a peg. The shorter, pe uh, the longer peg uh, is peg number 10. All right, that was very easy, very easy. The Kodobuka Slifer is shaking right now at how easy that was. My goodness, that was that was great. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would recommend assembling this already. Uh, so the slightly taller one is number 10. All right, and you go here. Weird. That's a little odd. I think, ah, I think it goes this way. So I was like, how do I get in there? Or one side that's a little bit more flat. Hard to tell. Ah, that was easy. That slid in there quite nicely. Alrighty. And then the step four is we put you Ah, I see the hole right there. I appreciate the box to highlight. It is dark here. It blends in. It is right here. So I like how there's this notch as well that that should slide in nicely. Ooh, I did not expect that to happen. I mean, if it slid in super easy, I suppose it makes sense that it could slide out super easy as well. And I believe you wrap around Kaiba, his body. So to piece 12, which is, of course, our base, we're putting the blue eyes' this little hole, this butt, uh, sure, on which piece? This one? So yes, yeah, so you do wrap around the body. Ah, unfortunately, he's not tall enough. 
for you guys to help. I was trying to cheat so looking off the cameras. I do need to rotate him around. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you just kind of hang out there. That went in quite nicely. I am very impressed so far at the ease of assembly. All righty. And then piece one is alternative. Piece one is alternative, which again looks so good. The metallic finish on all of the pieces that are supposed to be metallized. Uh, Kaiba's shoes, his armbands, his, his headpiece the blue eyes, and just the sheen on his coat. Oh, they're so, so nice. Number 11, where do you sneak in, number 11? You sneak into that hole there, and where are you going to go? Y'all are going to kind of cradle each other. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So where is... there all right so that piece there is going to connect to this hole all righty where is the hole for alternative then i see all the way over here Are you guys gonna be able to see it it's blocked by the spike it is down there all right Interesting how that's not actually in the instructions, but you can figure it out once you know where it attaches to on blue eyes. Oh, this is super cool. I can't get over how sick this is. Come on. I believe. I believe y'all can cuddle. I believe in it. We'll say it is a little difficult to navigate just with the everything that's attached. Much easier to see from this side. I don't know why I approached it from the other side when it's very clear view this way. Uh, so this video also doubles as a how to assemble your own Versus series, Dark Sided Dimensions, Kaiba, and Blue Eyes. Alright, I don't know if they're supposed to go all the way into each other, but uh, as you guys can see, they're mostly there. Mostly there. I think it's meant just to keep them attached. So. This looks super sick. Oh! This looks super sick. Let me show you guys how this looks so far at this stage. Ah, oh, that looks so amazing. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I think this might be my favorites that we've put together here on the channel. That was not the right button, there we go. I feel like this might be my favorites that we've had. Ooh, okay, getting into step number eight. We're taking our normal, more normal looking tail. And we are turning you around, putting you in here. Right. 
Yes, this is the proper way. Alrighty. Get you all wiggled in. Hmm. It's probably more difficult just because of everything's arrangements. They did pop off away from each other. I'll fix that afterwards. Or maybe I should do it now before I forget. Still easier than the slifer. Still easier than the slifer. Part of me wants Kaiba to like not be in the middle. Although I wonder if I cannot take him out. Like I feel like this would be easier without Kaiba in. I will say though, I have been able to get that it's much more flush. And I wonder if that helps with the tail angle, the proper angle to insert. Alrighty. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to leave that for now. It's not super flush, but you cannot see from the front that it is not super flush. Can you guys even see from the top that it's not super flush? You guys cannot see from the top either that it's not 100% Lush. I wonder if it is supposed to be or not. But for now, I am going to leave that as it is. Okay, so step number nine, we're starting with a wing and we're putting in that unattached arm. So, get the arm first. Whoop! Kaiba, I picked you up. My apologies, sir. Okay. So, arm goes here. And wing number nine, or wing number six, should be this one. Ooh, they have more mats on the inside. More of a matte look on the inside, but it's the shine on the outside. Ooh, that looks so good. All right. That went in very easily. Yeah, the only piece that I've had trouble with is this one here. This was a little difficult because they weren't 100% at the proper angle, which makes me think perhaps I'm not pushing in the right direction on that one. So I'll let that sit for a little bit. But all right, one wing is on. And do, 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 do. we can remove the arm here. Oh, I keep picking up Kaiba. My apologies, Kaiba. My apologies. Because I keep trying to use him to pivot the base around. Like I said, the only negative that I have about this is it's a little hard to maneuver. I think that's because I don't want this to twist and turn. Alright. 
Here. Now you guys should be able to see from here. Got this blue eyes head right in blocking yours truly. All right, so we can remove this arm of alternative. This fancy nail polish. And put on the alternative wing. Looks so cool. It looks so cool. All right, so you clip in here. I see why they have you remove the arm. And then the arm returns. Is that the wing was so close to the arm on this side. Just double check. Yes, this is proper. I think my angle was not proper. There we go. That's a lot better. All right, now we can put the arm back on. Now they're not as close, like incredibly close. They are still pretty up against each other, but it's not as crazy as they were prior. And now, whoops, as I smack the microphone, it is time to insert the cards. Now, where did I put those little guys? Here they are. Here they are. So yes, just as the image of alternative, interestingly enough, the second clear card does not even have anything on it. It's just clear. But alrighty, ah, oh, the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh pose. Slip them between the fingers. This is my preferred way to hold cards. All because of Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, and now I don't think we need this top-down view anymore. I think we are good to proceed from here as the instructions are over. So here is our finished, finished Kaiba. I think I could slide him off the table because I don't know how I'd pick him up otherwise. Let's look at that, everybody. That looks amazing. Oh, this is, this might be my favorite, honestly, my favorite favorite thing that I own for statues, figures, things like that. I honestly think this is my favorite. Like I am absolutely in love with how this came out. I think it looks amazing. The color palette, the metallic paints, the sculpt. I think this is the best that I've ever unboxed. I think this is the best one that I own. And of course I'm incredibly biased but it just captures his attitude perfectly with such a simple expression just just you know to him this is so easy that like he doesn't care that he has all these monsters he doesn't care that he has like this really cool looking blue eyes really cool looking blue eyes alternative like it's just another day to him it's like all right i'm gonna crush these peasants like it's just his attitude is perfectly encapsulated in this statue. The highlights, the blue highlights on his, his weird leather wrists and arm straps. Uh, that looks great. The ones on his legs as well. His, 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 his belt accessories <laughs> that he has on his arms and his leg. Of course, he has the, the KC belt, of course, is necessary. He doesn't have his necklace. He doesn't have his necklace. That's why he turned hater and he left Mokuba because he doesn't have his Mokuba necklace. That's why. But it, this just looks absolutely amazing. I love the way these crystals go from the perfect green, in my opinion, up through the blue. And the dragons fit perfectly together. And perfect sculpts. Like, I really like the first for figures blue eyes. 
I really liked it. I just, I love it. I honestly love both of them. I got them in two different colors. I got them in both colors available because why have one when you can have two? But I think honestly, this is, this is perfect. Those are really, really, really good. This I feel like is just perfect for blue eyes. Uh, blue eyes alternative looks, they all look, it looks great. It looks great. Like I said, I think this is the best Yu-Gi-Oh statue and best statue in general that I own. This is amazing. And I wasn't going to keep it out, but now I want to keep this out. This looks like it'd be a giant pain in the butt to dust though. Uh, that's what uh, compressed air cans are for, right? But this looks absolutely amazing. Like I am in love. We knew that, I love Kaiba, but I, yeah, not kidding when I say I think this is the best that I own. So very, very happy with this. I was, like I said, nervous with the size of this. Like, you guys can still see it over here. There's so much packaging to come down to this. I was very concerned. I was like, I thought this was going to be similar scale to the stuff I already have. And it is. It is. It's the size I imagine this would be by looking at the pre-order pictures and whatnot. Just the packaging to send it from Japan over here to the Tampa Bay area. Uh, much larger. And as we found out, he was inside two other boxes uh, from the one box that I took our original thumbnail picture. We'll see if I take a different thumbnail picture for this video now that we have it out. But this this thing is incredible. This thing is 10 out of 10. If you guys are big Yu-Gi-Oh fans, you love Kaibo, you love Blue Eyes, this is a must-have for your collection. I know it's quite expensive. I was very fortunate. From when I pre-ordered it, I was like, ooh, that's pricey. And then the exchange rate has gotten more in our favor here in the United States. I was like, when it charged, I was like, all right, all right. Didn't expect it to charge in October. It was tough. <laughs> so much stuff came out in October. But shout out to the exchange rate. But yes, this is, this thing is incredible. This thing is incredible. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Because I feel like everything now that I get, Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm going to compare it to this. And this is just stellar. This is stellar. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. I love it so much. This is, this is amazing. Oh, but yes, I think that wraps off this unboxing and review. Like I said, I love the sculpt. I love the paint job, just the coloration of everything, the the atmosphere and attitude, I think, were captured perfectly. So definitely two thumbs up for me. I don't know. Can you guys see my hands? I think so now. Two thumbs up for me. Like I said, 10 out of 10. This is a must-have if you're as obsessed with Kaiba as I am. Definitely incredible piece to have definitely an incredible piece would recommend it a hundred percent but yeah so i think that wraps off because otherwise i'm just going to keep gushing about this thing but i have other stuff to do tonight so if you guys enjoyed it which i hope that you enjoyed it this unboxing make sure you go ahead and hit that like button comments for me your thoughts your thoughts on this as opposed to other unboxings i've had here on the channel what are your thoughts do you agree with me that this is the best that i've opened here on the channel what do you think about it you guys can tell me you guys can tell me your real thoughts. I mean, I'll be disappointed if you guys don't like it, but, you know, I, I love it. I love it. And it's mine. So that's what matters at the end of the day, right? But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys think this is super sick. And questions, comments, anything for me, drop that down below. And if you're not yet part of the Allies Treasure Trove family, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, I can't be unboxing stuff like this all the time, but I do try to have a lot of fun here on the channel. Different unboxings, different figures, new stuff, some older stuff I have in my collection as well. So if you guys would like to see more from me, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, last but not least, before I get on out of here, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much, you all, for your above and beyond supports. I really, truly do appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who has joined. I do have 11 gemstone miners. Andin, Bounty Hunter Briggs, David Knox, Jack Perez, Keith Mira, Mako, Reese, Sebastian Morency, Shannon Hoon, 74, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have three crystal collectors, Anthony Ruiz, Javier, and Joe Vaughn. But thank you so much to all of my patrons, no matter what tier you're on. If you're a tier in which I say your name at the end of every video or not, really, truly do appreciate your above and beyond support. And you guys, I can't stop staring at this. This is, yeah, honestly, I think this is the best statue that I own. Not even the most expensive, but the best, the best.
I'm gonna get out of this video. Otherwise, I'm just gonna just sit here staring at him. It looks, it's just everything. The wings. You know, the difference between that neo technology on this alternative and then classic blue eyes. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You guys must get one. If you are on the fence about this, buy it. Do it. Don't don't wait too long and it sells out and you regret it. You this is this is something amazing. But yes, that does it here for this video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and hope you all join me next time as we unearth some more treasures here on Allie's Treasure Trove. Bye!